The Lored Business Network is, in its own way, a ministry of God. It began in 1989 right here in the middle of Holmes County, Ohio, initially founded by John Schrock and Bernie Torrance. The founder, John, was born and raised Amish with an 8th grade education. But as he grew older, he left the Amish church and became known as a bit of a local wise man. His principles and advice pulled from the book of Proverbs that he offered to the community became the foundation of Lored. But what is Lored? Uh, Lored is a training organization and it's based upon the book of Proverbs. You know, we say that it's a training organization, and it is, it's a training organization, but what we're really trying to impact is behavior, but more than behavior, we're really working to transform lives. We take the principles of God's kingdom, the first kingdom that he built under King Solomon, this is David's son, and we're finding that uh, it's relevant today that every business person in the world, marketplace, is looking for the advantage, and so Loret is about the powerful advantage of values. Hey, let's talk about the methodology, and that's the round table. And what's unique about the round table is, first of all, it's round. There is no leader. It's a two-way communication where your voice is actually sometimes more important than my voice. We learn to listen. A round table's based upon a principle that because of the benefits, it becomes a value. It's like a true north principle. And then we go into the value section, which is the benefits. Every one of the round tables is, uh, is complete with an action plan. What am I going to do to apply this small step and incremental change in my life today? When you look at these values every week, you talk about the benefits, you talk about what does it look like in everyday life? What does God have to say about this? And now we're looking at an action step and we're committing to something small and specific and personal, a goal for myself for this week. That's where we see the difference happen. What I learned a few years ago, uh, even though I think events are great, because um, I've went to a share of events, still go to events, uh, but events are a place, typically what I find is a low percentage of people that will actually make a change. Oh, many people will be taking notes and, oh, this is great stuff, and oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, but the percentage of people that actually makes a change from an event, I think is very low. But in a round table, it's the process. A small step in the round table brings a great change, a big transformation in a person's life, just one bite at a time. Uh, most business people are looking for success, so you're looking for books. And uh, it was interesting, Think and Grow Rich is a staple, or How to Win Friends and Influence People, and most of us were drawn to that, as people are today. I'm, I'm amazed that uh, people in the marketplace are reading the same books that we did 40 years ago. The amazing thing was this, all of those things are a philosophy, but God has the inside track, the advantage, and that's what we saw in the book of Proverbs, was it was an operating system. It began with three things. Bernie Torrance, John Schrock, and the Book of Proverbs. When I was first exposed to the Book of Proverbs, uh, I couldn't believe that it would be in the Bible. So I actually tore out the Book of Proverbs from two different Bibles, ran them through a wax machine, and then went away and categorized them just like you would a classified newspaper. I've been part of the Red, really I look at it uh, from the very beginning, which was in 1989 in my life. But even before then, it was in probably 1979 when I was on my third failing business. And um, I was trying to make business work and I was struggling. And I came back to Ohio to visit John Schrock, Bernie Torrance, and um, several of their other partners. And I learned about that little book called Wisdom for Today's Leaders. And it's really the, the values out of the book of Proverbs. I watched their company um, in probably an hour on a Monday morning that changed my life. And I remember as a kid, he would carry around that little booklet, Wisdom for Today's Leaders. And whenever he had something come up in business or even in our personal lives, I remember driving around the truck with him and he'd hand me that book and say, tell me everything Solomon had to say in the Bible about understanding people. I come out of that meeting thinking, wow, I have the answer. I, I called my wife and I said, Jerry, I got it, I got it. And what is it, Jerry, what is it? And I said, well, we need six partners. And she said, what? 
what, why you say we need six partners? Because what I saw was six partners getting together, giving God praise, and then talking about these values. My wife was so smart. She said, no, 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 you don't need six partners. You need six other business guys failing just like you. And that's what I did. I, I went back and I, and I started a round table, didn't call it a round table. I just a group of guys getting together that was failing like me in business. And within six months, those, those values that we talked about every week changed my life. So Jerry packed up, sold his company and moved from California to Ohio to be closer to his mentors, John and Bernie, where he would eventually join up with them. They went around trying to spread their message across America until something amazing happened after a meeting with media mogul Pat Robertson. They had high hopes. And, uh, and I thought this would be a time that we could expose Pat to these values for the business community. and Pat would take it on television and go worldwide, and that didn't happen. But during that trip, as we were getting ready to check out of our hotel, there was, a, there was three guys that was waiting, that had suitcases underneath the the roof of the hotel there, and um, and I asked him, hey, so are, are you trying to get a cab to the airport? Yeah, see. I said, well, you probably won't catch a cab out here, but we'll take you to the airport. Oh, great. Well, as we're driving them to the airport, I said, can I see your ticket? And as I looked at their ticket, I'm thinking they're wanting the local airport, Virginia Beach. But no, they're the airlines that they were going on, their ticket was from Washington, D.C. It's like three or four hour drive. But we committed. We, we said, hey, we'll take you to the airport. So now we're, we're driving them three or four hours to the airport. And, and as we're driving, we asked, why did you come to see Pat Robertson? They said, well, we came to, because there's so much corruption in the business community in Guatemala. We're looking for something for the, for the, for the business people of Guatemala. And what we had in the trunk to show Pat was what they were looking for. This set their foot right in the door of Latin America, where they would steadily grow stronger and stronger until 1993, when the president of Colombia required that all businesses with at least 50 employees bring two hours of values and value discussion per week to the workplace. They were going through a constitutional change, and they as a nation decided to cut the concordat with the Catholic Church and place their nation under God. And so one of the early assignments of Lored, uh, which means the net in Spanish, was to be part of that moralization program that took place from 1992 to about 1998. After this, their business exploded, spreading them all over Latin America. You know, we've been collaborating with a national project in Guatemala for four years now, uh, reaching all of the institutions, and we're also doing the same in Paraguay. In Paraguay, we're about a year and a half in. In, in Guatemala, we have over 350,000 people now that are involved in roundtables and talking about values and wisdom and transformation and, and God, and also in in Paraguay, we're up to about 170,000 now people in a, in a year and a half. And so we're seeing some, some great changes. Uh, some of it is, is, is like it's national transfer. People are talking wisdom, values we want out of corruption. This is the way out. I think back of what it did for my family, what it did with my wife and my relationship, with my employees, with the people that I was doing business with, and I watched in front of my eyes. I, I look back and I know it was God's blessing on me. It's really the love of God. He's not willing that anyone should perish. And I think when we look at the world today, we're really, it's thin. It's thin. The resources, everything is on the edge. And I think of what we do as kind of like a Joseph kind of situation where where God raised up a man, in this case he's raising up many, many around the world, that are able to come and bring solutions. Solutions, bring wisdom, bring hope, bring the idea that things can work because things are just on the edge of total meltdown. What is really impactful to me is to see founders of Lored, people that have poured their lives in from countries all over the world, I know why they do what they do. They do what they do because they want to share the love of Christ in a practical way to people around the world where they can see the love of God 
because God cares enough to come into their life, into their family, into their place of business, into their government, into their system of education, and give them wisdom, thoughts, belief, and hope of how life can work. That if we follow God's system, life can work, even in the midst of chaos, in the midst of struggle, in the midst of breaking relationships, everything can be restored because of the power of God and the power of his truth.